okay, this is gonna sound weird, right? But I like mushrooms. I like looking at mushrooms, I like cooking mushrooms, I like eating mushrooms, I like mushrooms. Uh, I've just been told that there's a really interesting bracket fungus growing on a tree not too far from here. I've got no idea what it is, but apparently it looks quite dramatic. So I'm going to uh, put my boots on, put a pack on, take my camera and go and have a look. So this stuff looks beautiful. I'm not quite sure what it is because uh, I don't know enough about mushrooms and I certainly don't know enough about bracket fungus. I know it's a bracket fungus, I need to look it up. Uh, so in a minute I will get out my, uh, my mushroom book and take a good look. But what a fantastic growth. Growth? That sounds weird, but it is. It's a big growth. Beautiful. So now, get out the mushroom book, get an identification, or at least try to. One mushroom book, bracket fungus, I think is towards the back, somewhere. Yeah, here. I don't know if this is fun. Look at this, chicken of the woods. That kind of marries up, doesn't it? Do you think chicken of the woods marries up with that? Caps off to measure 10 to 50 centimetres across. It's a win. Flat fan shaped brackets, it's a win. Tile red or yellowish red in colour. Uh, looks great. Spore print, pale cream distribution, calling widespread. Um, on oak, chestnut, willow, and yew. And that is on a willow tree. So everything adds up to a positive identification. Um, edibility, juicy young fruit bodies are soaked in water to remove the sour taste, then sliced and dipped in breadcrumbs before frying. My mouth's watering already. One of the bad things about walking through woods, you pick up loads of flies. I think I've just had my daily intake of protein. Job done.